Hey guys, Jim Collector here. Thanks for stopping by and checking out another video. Today we've got something a little bit different. We're going back in time for this one to check out the Chris and Tyrant from Moby Dick Toys. Now this is um, obviously based on the Resident Evil series of which I am a massive fan. Um, although I always thought this particular set was interesting because Chris and Mr. X, apart from a very small cameo, were never in Resident Evil 3. Um, but that's neither here nor there, I suppose. But this is a great set, part of a really good series. It obviously includes the Builder figure, which you can see there on the back is the Type 3 Nemesis, which is a bit of a grail for most Resident Evil fans. So I'm quite excited to kind of add this into the collection, and I can't wait to kind of crack this boy open and see what he comes with. So let's get stuck in. Here we have the packaging. You can see Tyron and Chris there, and then Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Um, I always like this packaging. You can see that it's got the Nemesis piece here. Um, I just like the kind of 90s style design to it. On the back you can see all the different sets in this series that came out. And then the Type 3 Nemesis builder figure there as well. Quick lock on the top reveals more of the same kind of um, detailing and design. Uh, so let's crack this guy open and slide out that clamshell. Um, I'm a bit scared to break this because it's an old box and I do really don't want to break this. Um, oh, they've got the Nemesis Builder piece there. And there we go. Let's get that out of the way. Alright, so here we have everything that he comes with. Um, I think we'll check out the Builder figure piece first. So this is what, this is the leg of uh, the Nemesis Type 3. Uh, really nicely done with the paintwork. I do like what they have here. I did have the Type 3 once before. Um, I sold it. Really regret doing that, um, so I'm, I'm looking forward and I'm eager to build that again. This is the, I keep calling him Mr. X, I, I suppose I should just call this the Tyrant because it's not exactly the same Tyrant as seen in Resident Evil 2. Obviously there's multiple variants of this throughout the game, It's not just there's not just one version of this um, B.O.W. Um, so yeah, basic joints here, it's got a single, el um, single bend on the elbow there. The arm moves around, you've got a bit of a head swivel. Head sculpt's not too bad on this either. Some interesting design, a bit different to the remake, Mr. X. A few scuff marks, a bit of dust on this. Um, this is obviously second hand, so a few few bit of dust and a bit of um, yeah, a bit of damage on the back. But older figures, it's hard to get these completely mint. But yeah, not too bad. Next, I think you can see, yeah, there's two hands. So you get two extra hands for the uh, Tyrant. And then this is Chris, if I can get him out. Now, it's a, these older figures, I suppose, are what we would these days call a power pose. So you can kind of see how he's set up here. Um, nice detailing on the vest. His arms are set. He does have movement at the joints, but they literally just swivel around like so. His arm also kind of swivels at the arm, um, well, the shoulder and the bicep there. And the arms do move around up and down a little bit. So you're quite limited with these older pieces, which, you know, back in the day wasn't that much of an issue. So there you go, his elbow goes up and down, pretty much go all the way around as well. Um, he only has one set of hands, so his hands are only designed for one thing, holding either the pistol or the rocket launcher. You can see stars on the back. A little bit of an overlap there on the RPD with the stars bit, which looks like a bit of a misprint there, which is interesting how that's happened. Um, so obviously this is kind of based off of his, um, how he looks in Code Veronica. Alright, so taking a closer look at Chris now, I've got him set up with his rocket launcher, um, which is probably how I would display him. He looks pretty good, it was easy enough to get him into this position. You can lift the rocket launcher up, so it's kind of aiming a little bit more like that, or you can have it down in a bit more of a casual pose, which is nice to see, but this is... Um, pretty much all you can do with him. He's got his pistol and his holster, that's the other weapon. You can flap that down, but I could not be bothered to faff around with that too much. Um, so yeah, relatively nice piece, not much I can say about him. And then we've got the Tyrant. I like this. Um, a little bit of movement on the rubber there on his uh, coat. Let's call it a coat, it's not a dress, it's a coat. Um, his feet are a little bit clunky, but you do get some very limited movement, but and they don't let him stand up very well, so you can see here he just he doesn't he doesn't want to stand. Like you can get it in a very specific way and it will stand up, but it's not 
it's not easy to do and it's I mean these are older pieces they're not made as well as they are now in fact one foot looks slightly longer than the other but yeah no it's good work I do like the detailing on the jacket nice work on the head sculpt he looks too super he looks creepier than I remember actually in uh, figure form than from what I remember on the game whether he was terrifying back in back in the PlayStation one days when I first played this so yeah, you can see the single bend on the arms um, you can't do much posing wise you can do this angry two fists up pose and um, we'll get them in some poses in just a minute but yeah really nice solid figure especially considering the age I like the dry brushing there on the um, the metallic looking of the belt so they did an excellent job what we'll do now is we'll whack in a couple of poses all right so here we have pose number one um, it's interesting I'm so used to doing this with six scale figures it's it's funny because you're quite limited here so in a way posing is super easy and also super difficult but yeah you've got basically Chris here um, just minding his own business and then the tyrant is just creeping up behind him about to grab him from the back of the head um, not a good day for Chris but yeah there we go so that is um, the first pose what we'll do now is we'll whack it out into a slightly different pose let's see what we can come up with pose number two so this is less the two figures interacting each other and just kind of a display style pose you can get so I've got Chris equipped with both his rocket launcher and his pistol as if he's just run out of rockets and he's switched over to his um, trusty Beretta is it a Beretta I always get that wrong let's say Samurai Edge um, and then you've got Mr. X just next to him in a basic kind of fist up pose um, I've swapped out his hands as well so he's got that grabbing hand um, still down um, and yeah, this is pretty much all I could decide to come up with these guys. All in all, considering that these came out in 1998, I have to say I really do like these figures. And again, if you're a Resident Evil fan, it's definitely a must-have, even if it's just to collect that builder figure piece. So yeah, guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe to see other videos. I'll be doing more 1-6 content and more Resident Evil content in the future. Peace, and see you later.